Emmy Award winning production designer Scott Chambliss joins us today to talk about his beautiful graphic novel, Marvelous, Princess Poot and Dolly Do Venice. Scott, this book is truly a work of art. What inspired you to create it? Life. <laughs> it's just an expression of, of my creative self, really, and I only did it as a labor of love for my creativity. That was the sole purpose. Tell us about Princess Poot. She's a mysterious character who came out of nowhere. She's an infomercial has-been. She, for years and years, had a really successful, nationally influential lifestyle show all about herself. America kind of got pooted out and they canceled her, and her story begins nine months after her show was canceled, and she has no idea who she is anymore. What about Princess Poot's traveling companion, Dolly? Dolly is a man of the world. He's had lots and lots and lots of experience. And he's a man of few words, but when he speaks, it really counts. And he's definitely Princess Poot considers Dolly her very best friend. Romantic Venice is the setting for your story. Why Venice? Venice is so romantic. Of course it's the setting for the story. And it's magical and otherworldly. Truth be told, the, the story is based on real events and real people. Princess Poot modeled after anyone you know in Hollywood. Yes. <laughs> if I told you, I would be killed. Do these people know this book is modeled after them? <laughs> That's an evil question. I really don't know, but I know that all the parties involved have read it and nobody said, hey, that's me. Your book includes a preface by Isabella Rosalini and a contribution from Jennifer Gardner. How did they get involved? Jennifer Garner and Isabella were both stars on a TV show that I was a production designer of for years called Alias. And Jennifer was just the sweetest, most supportive friend on that show. Isabella was a guest quite often, and I nervously knocked on her trailer door one day and said, Hi, we met last time. I made this book. Would you mind reading it? And if you like it, maybe uh, have a quote for my publisher's pleasure. And what she wrote was like three pages full of the most wonderful idiosyncratic stuff. The artwork consists of illustrations and photographs and some amazing typefaces. How did you put it all together? I stumbled my way through the assemblage of that book. I really learned uh, Photoshop doing it because I'd written a story a long time ago and I knew that I wanted it to be a completely illustrated tale that didn't look like anything I'd seen before. Princess Poot and Dolly decide on Paris for their next adventure. Is a sequel in the works? Poop tackles Paris. She's She goes into the capital of glamour and polishes them up a little bit. <laughs> and then she's fun. going to Shanghai after that. And beyond that, I'm not sure what. Scott, thanks so much for being with us today. It was a great pleasure. Thank you for having me, Megan. Marvelous Princess Poot in Dolly Do Venice by Scott Chambliss is not only a fun read, it's also full of style, humor, and opulence. It's completely original, beautiful to look at, and is a great addition to your coffee table. So pick up a copy today. And I think part of the reason you like it is because it's so visual and so goofy. It's also got naked butts in it, which, you know, girls and boys love it too. <laughs> Can you use that?